Hi there, and welcome to today's web session on what's new with Adaptive Insights. My name is Megan Addy, and I'm a senior consultant with Armanino. I'm going to take you through an exciting new feature recently released. This video will focus on Excel Interface for Planning, which is now available to all customers. Excel Interface for Planning allows you to make real-time edits to standard and modeled sheets within an Excel workbook. Once installed, when you open up Excel, you will see a new tab on your ribbon called Planning. On this new tab, all the way to the left, you will find the Login button. Click here and then enter your Adaptive Planning login credentials. Down the right-hand side, you will see a panel also called Planning. In the first drop-down, you will find all of your standard and modeled sheets listed. Note that cube sheets are not yet supported in this tool. The second drop-down will have all of your assumption or user sheets. Below that, you will see two tabs, one called Model and the other called Information. The Model tab is where you will find your versions and levels. The Information tab, you can find sheet info, including currency and cell formulas. Let's look at standard sheets first. Open the standard sheet of your choice, then select your version and then your level. Your sheet will look very similar to how it appears within Adaptive. Your roll-ups will utilize Excel groupings so you can expand or collapse. Green text represents actuals, while black represents plan numbers. You will also see your cell notes here. One difference is that italicized cells represent formula-driven accounts. If you click on the cell, you can see the formula that is in use over on the Information tab. To make changes, you can type directly into the cell. Your changes will show in blue, just like you're used to in Adaptive. However, you will see at the top, your workbook has an icon called Submit that shows you now have a change pending. Once you're ready to save that change back to Adaptive, you can click this button, and then you'll get a message that says your changes have been saved. Because this is Excel, you can also drag cells over, or you can add Excel formulas. Please note at this time, if you are adding an Excel formula, once you submit your changes, the formula will be replaced with your new value. Future updates may allow for the preservation of these formulas, but that is not currently available. If you right-click on the cell, you will see all of your usual Excel options, but you will also see an adaptive-specific menu that will change from cell to cell. This example has the ability to explore cell. If you click on this option, you will see the pop-up window that you would see if you were in Adaptive, including drill-down capabilities. If you have transaction data, you'll be able to drill into that information as well. You can also add cell notes. First, you would make a note in Excel as you normally would, but then you would need to right-click on that cell, click on the Adaptive menu, and now you'll see some additional options. Here you will want to click Save Note, and then you'll need to submit your changes at the top so the note is sent back to Adaptive. In summary, standard sheets have the following capabilities. The ability to view and edit data on the standard sheets. You can view your cell formulas. You can launch Cell Explorer. You can see data and change data on existing splits. You're not able to add or delete splits, however. Sheets support dimensions. You can create and edit cell notes. And these sheets honor the access control you have set up in Adaptive. Now let's look at modeled sheets. You would follow the same instructions to find and open your sheet, and you can do this on a second tab in the same workbook. You will make and save changes in the same way on these sheets. And if dimensions are utilized on the sheet, they will be available in the drop-downs on the cells. Additionally, you will likely want to utilize the Add and Delete Row functions located at the top of the worksheet. Also, if you right-click on a cell, you will see options to Add, Delete, but also to Split Row. You can split rows in modeled sheets. In summary, modeled sheets have the following capabilities. The ability to view and edit data on the sheet. The ability to pick from a list of values based on the column definition. Add and Delete Rows split rows, show subtotals, and these sheets also honor the access control set up in Adaptive. Finally, don't forget about all of the terrific native Excel functionality available to you. Charts and graphs are just a few clicks away. Any cells not in use with your Adaptive data or other sheets in your workbook can be utilized to take advantage of the Excel capabilities you know and love. 
Please note the ability to add and delete rows or columns, as well as sorting columns, has been disabled within this tool. Also, you don't have to be online when you're working on these sheets. Simply submit your offline edits the next time you log in. If you are currently an Office Connect user, once you download the new planning tool, you will see the planning tab on the ribbon in addition to your Office Connect tab. You can use both tools in the same workbook, but they must be on different worksheets. You can switch back and forth between Office Connect and the planning tools by clicking on the links shown here. Just remember, you do need to be online to submit and refresh data. Use of the tool requires installation on the local computer for each person. To do so, you will need to follow these steps. From your browser, go to the web address listed here. Log in with your adaptive username and password. You will see the Excel interface for planning installation and documentation page appear. Under Excel interface for planning installation links, click the link next to Excel interface for planning. Follow the screen prompts to install. And when the installation has completed successfully, open Excel and there will be your new ribbon called Planning. While available to all users, there are some system requirements for each computer on which the planning tool will be installed. As seen here, note that the tool is not available on Mac computers or server desktop virtualization environments, such as Citrix or remote desktop services. You might want to refer back to this part of the video to take notes or a screenshot of this information. It is also available on the Adaptive Insights support page. To navigate to this information online, log into Adaptive Planning. From your menu, hover over Support and click on Product Support in Forums. When you get to that page, click on the Help Resources. Under Excel Interface for Planning and Office Connect, click on the link for Excel Interface for Planning. On this screen, you will find everything you need to download the tool as well as documentation and support information. So that's it for today. This exciting new tool is live now, so you can start using it immediately. Please join us for future webcasts discussing new features and helpful hints to better optimize your user experience of Adaptive Insights. As always, feel free to reach out to me or anyone on our team with additional questions. I hope you have enjoyed these few minutes of power learning, and have a great day.